Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a new first look of the Audi A4 facelift. This is the 45 TFSI Quattro. You can see the new redesigned LED lights and the new bumper. Now I'm going to move to the side of the vehicle. A little more sharper and edgier design. Beautiful LED lights. Then with this beautiful side air tunneling, as you can see. New one piece grill frame. And then with the little Audi Sport details. Now this is the S line and this car is for disabled people equipped. So let's check the back look of the new facelift so we have a new led lights on the bottom in the petrol we have two real exhaust thumbs up for that now the car looks sportish enough for this real exhaust it is just elegant in my personal opinion i prefer this new led lights especially the front one without uh, that little uh, cut that used to be I believe the trunk space is probably the same. We have Baung and Alfsen speakers. Inside, of course, these are usually fully packed cars. A little storage area here. Cables. You can now go on the seats three ways. Speaker on the back. We have for the groceries. A little net here. Someone left it. A uh, bottle for the water, uh, room for a spare wheel, and what appears to be a perhaps a battery. Yep, battery. LED lights, parking camera. And then we can see this beautiful five spoke with cut 19 inch wheels, all parking sensors. Now, What's new inside is the new MMI screen on the top. The wheel on the middle bridge is lost. We can see that this car has addition to the steering wheel for the disabled people and this special uh, lever to operate a deep automatic transmission. One more look from the front. So the LED lights lost that little edge. Personally, like that a lot. The round lights, to me, look better. Leave a comment below what do you think. So I think we should try the space in the back seat just to see if it's more roomier than it used to be compared to the other model, the beautiful Alcantara some wood with open pores gray stitches i mean uh silver stitches with a gray uh sort of actually black leather interior we can see spaced in the back two usb a chargers 12 volt charger uh, ac controls and heated seat on the back we also have a armrest and then new cup holders. Now the roof goes on the top. So all the car manufacturers this year are doing this. You can even see the shades here for more room on the top. LED lights. So let's close the doors. 
Good space. So even on the back, the seat is a little bit more backwards. This one's not. So enough space. This is the front look. Okay, I came back. So this is the uh, facelift inside. Beautiful, sharp HD virtual cockpit. Uh, lights seem to be the same. Same long compartment inside. You now the doors, uh, beautiful finish uh, with this beautiful open core wood. Pantera, Baun and Alfsen. Bang and Alfsen, maybe I'm pronouncing it wrong. Beautiful wood on the dash. Now, uh, if I'm not mistaken, around 10 inch screen. It's going to be in the description of the video. Uh, MMI, so you press here to turn it on. And then we have this beautiful uh, sharp graphics. Now, uh, this one has the sound turned off. There's no taptic feedback, but if you have the sound sound on, it sounds like something's broken. You can see that in my uh, S4 video. So definitely a absolutely amazing sharp graphics, bright colors. Um, uh, fortunately, still, of course, we have the manual AC control, and on the bottom we have drive select. Um, in auto off, ESP off, parking, self parking, parking sensors. Uh, you can uh, turn off the screen, I guess. Uh, so, and then you have the start stop engine, USB A, uh, 12 volt charger. You have a illuminated two cup holders, a lot of piano uh, black finish. Uh, but this nice wood is really, really uh, feels. Uh, feels real, yeah. I mean, it is real, but. Um, feels like uh, it's just straight from the forest um, of course volume and to turn it on the MMI still uh, a small area here electronic parking brake uh, blank uh, so as you saw a uh, automatic transmission um, the seats uh, maybe are a little bit redesigned maybe not uh, oh there was an ambient light I'm not sure if you saw that the car was on um, so, Die wurde der big, so big um, glove compartment and then we have here our uh, wireless connection and wireless charging USB-C uh, in the armrest and this is of course extendable and adjustable by height so uh, the back you've seen so this is pretty much it this one's just uh, S-line on the outside standard on the inside this is all the same on the top and just the top seems pretty much standard audi with white led lights and um that's pretty much it so i uh, hope you like this quick look and if you're a disabled person so this is uh, easy to rotate the um steering wheel and then you have i guess this thing to operate the uh, actually the accelerator and the um, because of this you would operate with your hand and then the gas and the brake I guess so this is the gas actually as you can see here if I pull it it presses uh, and then if I the I mean I'm sure there's some other option for the uh, brake pedal or I'm not an expert so uh, at least not on that area so I'm not gonna pretend like I know what's going on and then we have good ceilings whoops good ceilings on the top uh, going down and the rest is pretty standard so we have a heads-up display on the on the top we have Bang and Alfsen speakers uh, a little camera on the top for the lane assist and let's check the uh, specs of this car so we have 45 DFSI with 245 horsepower of course, uh, automatic transmission. So this is the 36 month lease price and limited to 10,000 kilometers. This is the price 
and I guess the price uh, without tax, I mean, without taxes and with taxes, I assume this is in uh, German, so I don't know, these are all the, probably the extras or uh, what you can get and then technical data. So seven speed automatic, 250 is the speed limit. Uh, top speed limit electronically limited and then 5.8 seconds to uh, 0 to 200 kilometers per hour so these are all the models you pause if you want to see that and read it so we have 150 horsepower uh, 190 100, 136 and then so this is the strongest uh, version and line and packaging so we have the base advanced s line edition one back up a little bit um, some other features you can all find that in the uh, audi configurator really soon so we're gonna skip this uh, i hope you like this uh, quick look and I'd like to hear your opinions. There's gonna be A4 event. Actually, I filmed the S4, so if you wanna see that, uh, make sure to subscribe to this channel. Uh, of course, I'm in Frankfurt Auto Show. If you wanna see more, uh, click that subscribe button and click the little bell to get notification when I upload a new video. As always, stay safe on the road, and I'm gonna see you in the next video. Bye.